meteorologist Diane Phillips joining us. We're going to talk a little bit about the atmosphere. But Diane, what matters most is what's happening right here at the surface. And it will stay warm enough that any snow will melt today, right? Right, we're in that awkward kind of uh, transition. Where is it winter? <laughs> is it spring? And at times I don't even think the weather knows. I think Northwest Ohio weather described as awkward is a very good descriptor. It's just kind of way the way the cookie crumbles because we have some rain and snow just like you had there behind you. And the reason that we have that awkward transition is because of the air that's above our heads up into the atmosphere. We have warm air. We have cold air and depending what you have above or how much of the warm or cold. Well, that depends what you're going to see. Well, at the surface or right at ground level. So when we have rainfall, typically you're going to be working with all of the warm air. But then the next category is that freezing rain. And I know nobody likes it, but that's just when a little bit of that cold air kind of sneaks in because I have this blue line here that represents that uh, air that's less than 32 degrees. So that means that we are going to have some icing or at least something frozen going on into the atmosphere. And we typically have that right to the surface. That's why we have that that coating to where when you have a little more cold air and sleet. Well, yeah, you still have rain, but you do have those ice pellets, a kind of uh, that water just freezing before it hits the ground. So it's those ice cubes that we tend to see. But then when we have just completely cold air, well, we don't have to worry about any rainfall. That's when we just work with snow. Now, I know it's kind of difficult to see here when we have that kind of diagonal uh, slice here through our atmosphere. So I'm going to break down how much we have as far as that column of uh, air, we'll say that's above, and then how those temperatures are going to form maybe rain or snow, so it'll be a little bit easier to kind of break that down. So I'll have that coming up in about a half hour or so. All right, looking forward to it, Diane. A nice complicated uh, scenario that you broke down very simply for us to understand how we go from that rain to that snow fairly quickly. Let's see how we do it right here with our hour by hour forecast. What's changing here is what's going on above our heads. To explain that, meteorologist Diane Phillips is breaking it down for us here as we think three dimensionally here in our atmosphere because Diane, as we know here in the WTOL 11 Weather Center, that's just as important when we look at our weather forecasts. Yes, and I know it's so easy when you're driving around to go, oh, hey, my car says it's 36. Uh -huh. I must be okay. The road should be fine, but that's not the case. I hope your drive in though this morning, Ryan, was pretty good. My driving was fine. Yes, <laughs> nice yeah. and easy. Uh, temperatures were above freezing. So that's the nice part. At least like we don't we know we don't have to worry about ice uh, when temperatures are like that. But things can change for precipitation wise when the temperature changes. Exactly. And we're in that transition of our temperatures kind of being up and down and hopefully not left and right. But speaking of up and down, I'm going to kind of look at those columns that we have and I'm just focusing on one column for our four different types of precipitation and we'll uh, one we've seen them and two we'll probably still have a little bit of that fluctuation here as we get settled into the spring season. But as far as the rainfall, if you even have that snow up above, you're going to have that cold air, but then you have that warmer air kind of like that angle that I had there uh, just about a half hour ago when you have mo mainly that warmer air, then you're going to be working with that rainfall, but then we have freezing rain. And this one's a little tricky, very similar setup to the rain where you have that snow that melts, turns into rain, but right at the surface. So surfaces are typically right at that 32 degree mark or just below it to where it freezes on contact. So it does fall as rain, but then it ices over. So that's why you'll have glazing of power lines, tree branches, and of course roadways, which is never idea, ideal. So that's why we're going to be looking at that air temperature very close to the surface. Now, as far as sleet, you'll have a little more of that cold air. You can see that that red, well, it's not as dominant. So that's why you're going to have that rain and then it freezes. So it turns into ice cubes, we'll say. And typically, though, they're a little bit smaller around that uh, ice pellet size, but those will actually make it to the ground. And then once we have enough cold air, that's when we're going to be working with snow. So there's no warming at all in this process. That's actually when you're going to have those dendrites or those snowflakes that start to form because we'll be uh, going through crystallization. So then that's when we're going to be looking at mainly that uh, winter type of weather. So you can see that there's a big transition, but really watching those temperatures up above is more important than watching just that temperature there on your car. I know it's easy. I watch it too while I'm driving, but you always still have to keep an eye to those roadways as well. <laughs> All right, Diane, great advice there. And yeah, there's a lot that goes into these forecasts. So watch on my hour by hour forecast here as it does dynamically change as we go through the day. 